So, so this is the plan after all that thinking. We have uh, two 55-gallon barrels. Uh, we should have used four, but anyway, we didn't have that, so we had a styrofoam block which we wrapped in a tarp. Uh, the, the block is uh, uh, about four feet by six feet. Uh, we have a 25-foot log across the top. This is the mooring ball and the chain here. This is a 2,000-pound uh, concrete block at the bottom of the ocean that holds the mooring. And uh, so we took these two barrels, uh, used a lot of rope and tied them all together. Uh, yeah, make sure if you do it, you tie the ends and then you tie these ropes together, almost like a net, only a very large net. And then uh, we laid the log in between the barrels and then across the styrofoam. We used, here we used uh, actually some plywood on top, two pieces, one there and one there. And uh, that actually held the tarp onto the block. So we folded it like a present, wrapped the tarp like a gift, put the plywood on top, and then we laid another piece of plywood over top of that and nailed them together. Uh, we, tie, we put the log on, and then as you can see here, we tied ropes around the log. We actually had three lines around the log and the styrofoam and two two-by-fours here nailed to the plywood. Then uh, we used a very heavy rope and we tied onto the chain as far down as we could reach. This is kind of the rope here and it goes around the log. Float, um, I would say 1,400 pounds. Uh, these barrels can float about 950 pounds. The block weighs 2,000 pounds. So we have enough flotation here to lift. So what we do is we go in there in low tide, tie the rope on to the log and to the mooring block, and then uh, wait for the tide. And this floats up eventually lifting the mooring block. Uh, we had to have about a four-foot tide uh, in order to lift the block off the bottom. Once the block... Hi, YouTube. So, here a little bit. We're moving a mooring block. Low tide is in the next 15 minutes. Excuse me, I'm eating. That's a mooring ball. On the bottom of that mooring ball, Mine, mine is over there, and the new boat is over there, tied to a different boat. And we are, uh, sorry for the noise of the boat, I'll shut it off. Yes, yeah. we have uh, Jeff tying on to the chain, we have uh, a block of styrofoam, you can see it's about four feet by six feet. And uh, on this end, we have two barrels. They're 55 gallon barrels. According to my calculations, those two 55 gallon barrels should float a thousand pounds. And according to Jeff's calculation, the styrofoam block will float about more than two thousand are more than a thousand pounds, so we will, uh, yeah, it's low tide, so, so what happens is we, uh, Jeff is uh, there, uh, we're tying the chain as low as we can, it's tied onto the, the two thousand pound cement block. And uh, then uh, we will uh, 
Wait for high tide and the tide alone will pick up a a 2,000 pound block and uh, and then we're going to move it I believe just in that area over there. The, the reason is the king tides here showed us that uh, where my mooring block was is pretty shallow and uh, in king tides you could see the cement I mean it was that shallow so uh, as we go out that direction, the water gets deeper. So uh, I just, this is cool. I'm just naturally floating into where Jeff is, and uh, it's, you know you're getting a, a tidal zoom. I guess. Yeah. Well, you want to see how low your mooring block is? That's cool. Right there. It's right there. It's uh, that low. Oh, it's water. four feet. So right yeah, now we got so. four feet of water, and we're at low tide. Yeah, so. on slack tide, when you move around, you're gonna hit, have a chance of hitting your own mooring block. Yeah, but there it is, sits. And my boat it's, is, uh, the new boat is three foot two drafts. So, yeah, we got a problem there. Uh, I gotta look at my phone. Just hang on. See, this is the mooring block. Yeah, what we do is put private on them and our name and numbers so people can phone us but you could see even after two years the names just spoke on. Anyway that's the barrels and this big block here. And that's Jeff's boat. Yeah it's kind of full of rocks right now. So I'm back on my boat. I don't think you can see a beautiful sky out here guys. Anyway I don't think you can see the mooring block but Jeff's parked over there with the dinghy. And the mooring block, and the mooring block, we'll call it the mooring block flotation, or floater that floats the mooring block is now tied to my boat because when it comes off the ground, it's gonna probably go closer to shore because the tide by that time will be coming up, which means it's flowing in. So we tied it to my boat. My boat's tied to a mooring ball here, a different mooring ball. So, and then once it's floated, we can just take it over here and drop it. So that's how you move a mooring block. A little, little bit of flotation. Uh, there was a couple suggestions from people. One of them was to. This is the harbor, we just go pan around. One of the suggestions was take those thousand liter totes and tie one on either side. Uh, I don't know, might have. that would definitely work. This should work. We have enough flotation. The barrels are probably going to be pretty much on the water by the time it comes up, I think. But I don't think we're going to have a problem. Anyway, that's uh, how you do things, folks. And I'll show you the mooring box when it's over there. Uh, we got a rope, double rope tied around the log. And uh, probably the scariest thing is cutting the rope. I uh, have a new sharp knife and we'll tie it on a long stick. Probably a boat hook stand back about four or five feet. But I think the way we got things tied with uh, barrels on one side, big log, uh, if it does come up, they're all tied together, so it's all got to come up at once. So, you know, there'll be a bit of a jerk when we drop it, but I don't think it's big enough to hurt anybody. So I just want to be back from the rope because there's chain flying and yeah, ropes flying. And so you want to be safe when you do it. Anyway. So there's Malaya on her new mooring. Uh, sorry we didn't get a little more film, but it's hard to film in the dark. Like and subscribe.
Uh, and like I say, we'll see you on the next one.